Well, it's January and many of us make goals in January to be more fit and eat more healthy. So today we're going to go over vocabulary relating to eating healthy and dieting paleo, gluten-free, calorie, and so on. Yes, we'll focus on pronunciation so that you're comfortable not just knowing these words, but using them in conversation. Hmm, I've been walking for three minutes. I think that's enough exercise for today. To begin, we'll focus on the word diet. This word actually has a couple of different meanings. First, as a noun, it can be used to describe the kind of food a person, community, culture, or even animal usually eats. For example, koalas eat a diet of leaves. So that just describes what someone eats. But we also have a second meaning. And this is not just a general way to describe what someone eats, but a restriction, usually to lose weight or be more healthy in some way. For this, we use the preposition on. I'm going on a diet to lose weight. I'm not going to have dessert because I'm on a diet. Diet, it's a two syllable word with first syllable stress, die. The I as in by diphthong, die, diet. Then smoothly into the second syllable, it's an I as in sit vowel and the T consonant, diet. Between the I diphthong and the I vowel, it can feel like you go through the glide consonant Y, diet, diet. The ending T is a stop T unless it links into a word that begins with a vowel or diphthong, like in the phrase, I'm going to diet all month, diet all, diet all, diet da 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 There, it's a flap T. It's also a flap T in the word dieting, dieting, or dieted, dieted. There, also a flap T. I dieted last month. He was dieting before the wedding. Say these three words out loud with me. Diet, dieting, dieted, diet, dieting, dieted. Now let's talk about some of these diets out there where you restrict what you eat. We have a vegetarian diet and a vegan diet. Vegetarian is a five syllable word with middle syllable stress. Vegetarian, vegetarian, vegetarian. There is secondary stress on the first syllable. Vegetarian, vegetarian. Now notice the word vegetable, which is related, is different. It has first syllable stress. Vegetable, vegetarian. This is an adjective that can describe a person or a diet. She's vegetarian. She eats a vegetarian diet. That restaurant doesn't have many vegetarian options. Vegetarian means no meat. Vegan takes it one step further and is no meat or animal byproducts like things made with eggs, dairy, or gelatin. Vegan with the E vowel is the much more common pronunciation, though I've also heard vegan. Philly restaurants have a lot of good vegan options. Vegan, vegetarian. Say these words with me. Vegetarian, vegan, vegetarian, vegan. You might also hear the term plant-based. This isn't totally vegetarian, but the majority of what you eat comes from plants rather than animals. Plant-based. You'll hear that with a stop T. Plant-based. That's because the next word begins with a consonant. Plant-based. Plant-based. There's no t. Plant-based. Notice the a vowel in plant is not pure. That would be pla, plant, plant. That's not how we say it. When a is followed by n, then we relax the back of the tongue a little bit. We get an a uh vowel. Pla, plant, plant, plant-based. That makes it sound much more natural, much more American plant-based. Say that with me. Plant-based. Plant-based. Another diet one might follow is gluten-free or dairy-free. Gluten-free, this means free of that ingredient, no gluten in it, no dairy in it. You might also see the phrase fat-free or 
sugar-free as well. No fat, no sugar in that product. The word gluten is a little tricky because what's happening to that T? Again, it's not t, gluten. It's a stop T. Glute-n. Put your tongue up into position. Glute, stop the air. Glute, Mm. Then simply make the N sound. Your tongue is already in position. Glute, mm. gluten. You don't need to move your tongue for that. Glute, mm. gluten. Don't try to put a vowel in the second syllable. It's just an N. N is a syllabic consonant. It takes over the schwa. Gluten, gluten. Say that with me. Gluten, gluten free. Gluten, gluten free. Then we have more specific diets like paleo. This is short for a paleolithic diet, also called the caveman diet. This is a diet that mimics the way humans ate in the paleolithic period as hunter-gatherers, and it has been popular in the United States. Paleo. Three syllables, first syllable stress, paleo. Paleo. The L here is a light L. Paleo. Paleo. Say that with me. Paleo. Paleo. Also rising in popularity in the U.S. is something called the keto diet. This is short for ketogenic. It's very low carb, moderate in protein, and high in fat from what I understand. I've never done it. I've never done any of these diets for the record, but I have used calorie counting to lose weight after having children, and I'll get to that in a minute. I went to Youglish to see how people are pronouncing this. And when they're talking about the diet, they're using a flap T, keto. When it's a scientist talking about chemistry, usually in that case, it's a true T, keto, 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 keto. Since we're talking about diets here, we'll use this flap T pronunciation. Keto, keto, say that with me. Keto, keto. Whole 30, this is an elimination diet. You take out soy, dairy, sugar, alcohol, grains, legumes. That would be a broad term that includes beans for 30 days. Then you slowly reintroduce foods to see how your body reacts to them. For example, do you get more stomach aches? Do you feel more tired? Whole 30. The W in whole is silent. It's a homophone with this word whole, as in a hole in the ground. Whole 30. Whole. That's kind of a weird word, right? The L is a dark L. Whole, ol, ol. We don't lift the tongue tip for that. It's made with the back part of the tongue. Whole, ol. It presses down and back just a little bit. Whole. It affects the O diphthong too, doesn't it? Whole. It's not ho, whole. But it's whole, ol, whole 30. Whole 30, so the lips round more and the tongue is already pulling back a little bit for the dark sound. It affects the diphthong. Whole, whole 30. 30 is also a tricky word. First, an unvoiced TH, 30. The tongue tip has to come through for that sound. Then the R vowel consonant combination, thur, thur. Then a flap T, 30, 30. Right into the unstressed E vowel. 30. Whole 30. Say that with me. Whole 30. Whole 30. The Mediterranean diet has also gotten quite a bit of attention in the U.S., and there are quite a few medical studies that back that this really will improve your health long term. This diet is based on the traditional cuisine of countries bordering the Mediterranean and includes lots of vegetables, fish, and whole grains. Mediterranean. That is a long word. Six syllables. With long words like this, it does help to focus on stress. There is secondary stress on the first syllable, me. Mediterra. Then we have primary stress on the fourth syllable, Mediterranean. 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 Notice the T in this word is a true T. This is an exception. It comes between two vowels, but it does not start a stressed syllable. Normally that would be a flap T, but we do pronounce this word with a true T. Mediterranean. Mediterranean. 
Say that with me. Mediterranean. Mediterranean. The next two are probably a little bit less popular than they were at one point, but they're still very big in the U.S. The Atkins diet and the South Beach diet. The word Atkins is actually trademarked. It's named after the man who came up with this specific diet. It calls itself the more flexible keto and is a low carb diet. Atkins. Notice we have a stop T in there, just like in gluten. Atkins. This is because the T is followed by another consonant. Atkins. First syllable stress begins with the A ah as in bat vowel. Atkins. Say that with me. Atkins. Atkins. South Beach. This is another low carb diet that focuses on something called the glycemic index. This is a way to measure how quickly a food makes your blood sugar levels rise. This one has that tricky sound, the unvoiced TH. South. You may find that you want to substitute an S. I hear a lot of my students say souse, souse. Try to make a TH sound with your tongue tip coming through south, south, south beach. Slow it down if you have to. S consonant, ow diphthong, TH. South, south, south beach. Beach with the E as in she vowel. South beach. Say that with me. South Beach. South Beach. Have you ever tried fasting? This is one where you don't eat. Skipping meals or entire days of eating has become a health trend lately. Fasting. Fasting. We do say the true T as part of an ST cluster. Fasting. Fasting. Say that with me. Fasting. Fasting. I want to go over two more terms for diets, calorie counting and yo-yo dieting. Calorie counting is when you don't care so much about what you eat as long as you stay under a certain number of calories a day. This is actually what I did to lose weight after having my two kids. The word counting can be pronounced with or without the T. Counting. Counting. I'm counting calories. Calorie, a three syllable word with first syllable stress. There's a dark L in that first syllable. Cal. Calorie. The unstressed syllables, uri, 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 uri. Said quickly, simply. Calorie. Calorie counting. Or calorie counting. Say those with me. Calorie counting. Calorie counting. Calorie counting. Calorie counting. Now you may hear or see the term yo-yo dieting. A yo-yo is a toy, a thing on a string, you throw it down, it comes back up. Yo-yo dieting refers to people who go on a diet, lose a bunch of weight, go off the diet, gain it back, and go on a diet again, lose weight, and so on. Yo-yo, the same syllable twice, first stressed, then unstressed. Yo-yo, say that with me. Yo-yo, yo-yo. What do you think? Are you going on a diet this year? I'm intrigued by the Mediterranean diet and I kind of want to try it. My family really needs to be eating more vegetables and less processed foods. There's no question about that. Learn more vocabulary. Check out my vocabulary playlist and don't forget to subscribe with notifications. I make new videos on the English language every Tuesday and I'd love to see you back here. A huge thanks to everyone who's joined my YouTube channel membership. You guys are awesome and amazing. Join the membership to support this channel and get extra videos and perks from me. That's it. And thanks so much for using Rachel's English.